You want them out? Or? Yep. eggs with words on them. Another egg. The eggs don't turn out amazing but I quite like them as forms. They were cast from poach eggs. An egg again being a very potent symbol uh, historically and religiously and spiritually but and then poaching it, it seemed to do something else about process and incubation and then adding these uh, quite direct words onto them as well. This idea of process has always been very important to me. Um, I think it's something that's come naturally to me and I guess while I was doing the master's programme I started to articulate that better, um, not just as a, as a habit but this idea is like a kinesthetic approach to a studio whereby through doing things, through the hands being active, uh, the mind can start to relax and make associations and view that as a thinking time. What I cannot do is sit at a desk and try and come up with an idea for a piece of work or for a project, but rather through starting small actions or bigger actions or certain strategies of process, the thinking occurs within that, then I can then take that away and write about it or it will lead on to the next um, object or series of objects. I was really delighted to be invited to select for MA Stars um, and uh, when I went along to the MFA degree show um, for Glasgow School of Art at the glue factory in Glasgow, um, for me there was just one person that really stood out and that was uh, Stephen Murray. His installation there was right in the middle of the space. You had no choice but to clamber over it, engage with it or to sort of find a way to circumnavigate it which wasn't really very obvious within my object making, both born out of practicality and just kind of attitude, I'm, I'm quite up for the work being robust enough to be able to be touched or engaged with. And as they start to look at spaces for the degree show down in the glue factory, um, I had an idea that I wanted to build a, a stage or a platform or a large table as a, as a circle, as a kind of democratic shape, but also as something that restricted the thoroughfare of the viewer through the space. And then on that there was larger objects like a six and a half foot totemic phallic banana um, down to smaller cast bronze pieces. Um, so the idea was I would give people the work, the title, a list of materials and then they could start to move amongst it and draw their own conclusions. You weren't really quite sure um, what all these disparate elements had to do with each other and the title which was really like a, a sort of title you might get in a museum object. Um, with all this very long list of materials, um, sort of just didn't really give you too much information, but sort of enough perhaps to sort of start to try and work it out by yourself. Also, there were the aspects of aspiration towards sustainability and fair trade, and the reference also to the Commonwealth as well in a context of uh, what was about to happen in Glasgow, what's happening this summer, the Commonwealth Games 2014. And also this way that he said it as two different words, Commonwealth and thinking about, you know, who's this all for, who's it going to benefit, what's its relationship to the city? I guess I was being loosely critical of um, political and economic ideologies, yet as myself, as uh, someone that exists quite happily within Western culture, engages in capitalism quite foolhardly, I also feel better every day if on my way home I do the shopping and I get fair trade bananas and I buy 95% British made, 95% uh, pork sausages and these sort of little, little pats in the back you gave yourself. I really enjoyed the process of um, going to a degree show and um, thinking uh, harder about an artwork than I might have done and formulating that and writing about it and writing something which um, I do enjoy when I get the opportunity. Um, it's not something I've done a lot of, but it's something that I, I really like to do. And uh, I think, you know, hopefully it supports the artist as well to have another sort of viewpoint of their work. My plan after the Masters and what this kind of space is about is about me having a space where I can undertake both my own artistic work, technical work and collaborative work, and uh, the ability to balance out those 
elements of my practice, but also to see them as inherently engaged and as a positive attribute to each other, rather than something that's overtly separate and fights against each other. So I see a lot of benefit between the challenge of, of having to say fabricate furniture or storage systems for people, which then can tie into aspects of fabrication with my own sculptural work. I've had a successful application to the Creative Scotland for a commission that's going to happen during the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in 2014. It takes the form of a sculptural velodrome with a twist in it that should be fully rideable but also operate as an amphitheatre for performance and spoken word events during the Commonwealth Games. The velodrome as a form is really beautiful, it's really seductive. To ride on it's really amazing, um, to watch People riding on it is really amazing. There's something about the fluidity of the motion and the necessity to work together and be trustful of other people when you're in that environment uh, that can go badly wrong. Touchwood, I've not fallen off that yet. <laughs>